Hello and welcome to Nirmal Bang, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hiral Dadia. We have with us Kunal Shah, Head of Commodities Research, joining in. Kunal, welcome to the show. Kunal, on the Indian rupee itself, we are seeing it approach levels of 75-76. Uh, the dollar is inching towards 97. Uh, what's the sense that you pick up on this? Because you have the MPC as well, which has kept interest rates unchanged so far. The stance has remained accommodative. Uh, so how do you see the dollar index moving and simultaneously the impact on gold and silver? Okay, so I, I will start it from where I left it on Friday, uh, the US inflation number. So US printed the 6.8% inflation in line with expectation. That is highest since 1982. Uh, Eurozone printed inflation of 5.2%. That is highest since uh, 1992. So the inflation in US, in Europe is are at you know almost three decade high. And uh, this means that on Wednesday, today also there is a meeting of central banks. So various central banks are likely to give statement during evening session. And this is a clear indication that they are going to do aggressive tapering of bond purchase program. So US uh, last month started uh, the tapering by $15 billion per month out of 120. And I think this month uh, on Wednesday in night, late night at 11.30, they will taper by another $30 billion. And same with the ECB. ECB uh, problem is the ongoing Omicron cases, which are surging and uh, the COVID cases which are surging, which can prevent uh, aggressive tapering. But the road is very clear that the liquidity, the easy money, which was chasing commodities are not going to be there in the system. The likely trend of the dollar index is going forward is going to be uh, definitely on the uh, upper uh, band like uh, 9680, 9670 are the kind of levels which you can see by the end of December or perhaps uh, in the first week of January. So dollar index, the trend is definitely going to be on the up on the upside going forward. Hmm. Right. And overall, with that, if you could just help me understand, how do you see the uh, how do you see gold and silver moving? Gold, I think there is a geopolitical premium which is building. Most of the European countries are saying that uh, Russia is likely to invade uh, uh, Ukraine. And there is a strong uh, talks going on with the US President, uh, Mr. Joe Biden and uh, Putin. And uh, there is no, uh, Putin is not showing any sign of, uh, you know, uh, indication that it, they are not going to attack or they are not going to invade Ukraine. So I think this geopolitical tension uh, is causing premium in gold futures. So gold, I think 48,150 you can buy, 48,000 keep a stop loss, 48,350, 380 other kind of levels. Kunalia's screen six, is frozen. 60, 61,600. Okay, I don't know. That's there fine may, now. Maybe some internet issue. Yeah. So silver 61,100 uh, buy, 60,900 stop loss, and uh, 61,600 to 650 should be your target. Right. And what should the strategy be with regards to where base metals go? Base metals, uh, China last week came up with a RRR cut and indication that uh, they are going to uh, relax the ongoing property curbs. So these two are driving metal prices right now. Uh, since China is releasing the liquidity, the domestic demand is likely to be better. But again, they have the surge in COVID cases in province like uh, Nimbo, Shanxi. So uh, it's a mixed view, but it seems that uh, due to this holiday season now already started, which is started in, in, in international market, copper uh, can go up by 738, 739 maximum. Nickel can go up by 1570, uh, 1565, 1570. And uh, aluminum can go up and test levels of 217. So uh, buy it dips uh, for evening session is what we recommend. Right. And in terms of where crude goes, what's your outlook from your own? Yeah, in crude oil, uh, the, the uh, Omicron cases, uh, Omicron is definitely playing a major role here hmm. because uh, if Omicron cases are surging and travel restrictions are taking place, the oil demand will drop. So the moment you see Omicron uh, cases surging, uh, that kind of news, you generally tend to see oil start to go uh, down. 
so my my view for evening session is uh, 5420 at the kind of levels where you go long uh, put a stop loss of uh, 5370 and expect it to again test uh, 5490 to 5500 right and anything on the agri commodity side kunal in agri commodity uh, cpo looks uh, better for the upside target of 1125 right so that's with overall commodities market i don't think so there are any questions coming in today thank you participants thank you one more thing uh, one more thing uh, hiral uh, due to holiday season we are going to see very thin movement very oh, dull okay. movement in the mcx so uh, i think uh, one one must uh, be trading with a very thin stop losses right now in such kind of dull moment right so that's an advice that we should be taking throughout the month of uh, december following up with the first week of january from where then you will have slowly steadily volumes pick up as well right kunal yes absolutely thank you kunal thank you participants for joining in as well subscribe to our youtube channel for in depth interviews of india inc and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates